Hi, my name is Jill Anderson and I was involved in the planning of the reimagining mental health event. I just want to give you a flavour of the day. So reimagining mental health was held in Lancaster, which is in the northwest of the UK. And we were really delighted to be able to hold the event at the welcoming and friendly Gregson Centre. The staff from the Gregson were um, involved from the beginning and supported us in every aspect of the event. So we had originally thought about this event as a more traditional um, conference style day where we would invite uh, speakers. But as we met in the early stages, we came to um, the decision that we would hold it as a drop in event so people could um, come in and out or stay all day. We badged it as a day of talking, reading, viewing and making. And this is the welcome zine which we handed to people when they arrived. The zine proved helpful in orientating people to the day and introducing them to the notion of zines if that was unfamiliar as we had a zine reading space and a zine making workshop upstairs. So here you can see the centre spread of the zine, um, which helps people to understand how they might move through the building throughout the day. So we had um, conversation zones downstairs in the main hall and in the cafe bar, and we had people with host badges to support those conversations. We developed some guidelines um, to ensure that people felt safe in sharing information. And then up the stairs, we had three activity areas, which I'll say a little bit more about. So, um, in the downstairs area where the conversations were taking place, we also had some exhibitions on the walls. Uh, you can't quite see them here, but we had information boards with um, uh, introductions to alternative approaches to mental health uh, support. And we also had a collection of cartoons. We had refreshments available in the main hall and in the cafe bar throughout the day. And we had prompt sheets on the tables, uh, which people could use to talk about, but also add um, their thoughts to on post-it notes. Here is one of those, which relates to understandings of mental health. But we also had um, prompt sheets relating to experiences of madness and distress and um, one set of questions which were encouraging people to think about the kinds of responses and services that we have available currently and how those might look different particularly if we begin to draw on inspiration from elsewhere. And we, as well as um, a sort of uh, chilling out relaxation space in the cafe bar, we also had some other activities. For instance, Rachel Deadman from Leaders Dance ran a mindfulness based exercise there. So moving upstairs, we had three activity areas, as I mentioned. Uh, it was wonderful to be able to make use of the little cinema in the Gregson Centre. And we had um, curated some films which showed on a loop throughout the day. You can access those uh, through our YouTube playlist um, and you can find the link to that on the CRAMP website. And we secondly had a choir zine reading library and reading space 
So here you can see some of the MAD zines that we have been collecting through the uh, MAD zines research project. And um, some people talking about those. So some of them are not that easy to access. Uh, so this was uh, part of our aim of the day was to help people to find out about them and to access them. And we also had a zine reading tent which proved very uh, popular with older and also with younger people who visited us on the day. And finally, in the other half of the Olive Bar upstairs in the Gregson Centre, we had a zine making workshop. So you can see people on the right here making zines. And on, sorry, on the left of this picture making zines. And on the right, you can see um, people embroidering post-it notes in an exercise that Jane Thakurden, who visited us from Birmingham, introduced. And we also had opportunities for making friendship bracelets and badges. So the idea was that some of the conversations that were taking place downstairs would filter upstairs and influence this kind of making. And um, likewise, that there would be a flow of ideas from the films and the zines and the zine making upstairs down into the conversations on the ground floor. And towards the end of the afternoon, we also had some more structured conversations, which Alex Dunedin from Ragged University videoed. And you can watch some of those in the remainder of this video. So all in all, it proved an interesting day and um, met some of our own expectations. And we hope those are people who attended. So I hope that you'll enjoy the rest of this film.